Good morning, folks were watching plasma filaments dance around in an ionized helium view. We've got top news today, top weather, an earthquake watch, and more. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star with a truly inactive face, which does have a large coronal hole in it as well. Let's go to the X-ray flux. No more rise like we saw starting yesterday as what appeared to be an active region incoming looks much more deactivated this morning. We've been inside an intensified solar wind stream from the departing coronal hole. We'll magnetically connect to the incoming one tonight for at least a 48-hour seismic alert. Back here at Earth, that intensified solar wind stream is dying down from that first one already turned out of view, remember? The peak and drop back should be easily visible in the telemetry. And now, even without major global storm onsets, we did expect to see numerous electrical problems even in clear weather areas. Well, two major airports in the eastern U.S. just shut down yesterday. That's both Bradley and Philadelphia. There was an entire island of Hawaii that lost power. Leading up to Philly's airport trouble, their landline 911 calls were not going through, and that is on top of the clear weather local power outages throughout the region. Increase in electrical fire reports online as well. Another electric thing affected by solar storms is the human body. Folks, we've been up and down this paper in the past, and it is in our book, but for the dozens of you asking if there is a sleep connection to solar storms, yes, it is one of the strongest. From too many wake-ups to sick feelings, there are lots of space weather potential influences there. Of course, if you really want to talk electric, line of lightning right in the core of the convergence zone last night in the southeast U.S., as forecast, the line dropped a number of tornadoes, and it is likely that the energetic changes this evening are going to bring more severe weather up into the northeast. Let's do a bit more space weather, but this time, let's do it from the side. There are about four great reasons to have an L5 craft out there watching CMEs from the side and the incoming sunspots. Great article from ESA on their plan coming soon. Quickly want to mention the volcanic activity in Costa Rica. Cloudy conditions disfavored imagery, which is sad because Costa Rican eruptions are known to paint the night gorgeous. Let's step out now to the galactic scale. Interesting new study finds a star with high metallic orbit properties, but almost no metal to it. They say it must be a Milky Way capture because it's old. Older than our galaxy, like first generation of stars in the universe type thing. That conclusion does seem a bit extreme, but at very least, we can say it was not expected to be where it is, how it is. Up next, as you fly through deep space, what's not visible is the cosmic web. The placement and alignments of galaxies and tilts with the web and the filamentary protrusions. Some interesting shots indicating that some of these lineups can be spotted from earthly telescopes. One of the top five solar forecasters on Earth, Chowdhury, has another one here. Seems to be falling in line with what most solar forecasters are predicting for the upcoming cycle a moderate one. More on the longer term grand minimum topic coming in a special video tonight. Last but not least, we've got dust, doing what it is expected to do in a lab on Earth, but happening in space. This is key because they think electric charge is what drives these lineups of material, aided by gravity on Earth, but it turns out that last part isn't so much needed. Dusty plasma once again. We greatly appreciate your support. All three of our books plus conference registration is at otf.cells.com. Remember, anyone registered for the conference by November 19th is entered to win your stay. Four free nights at the venue hotel. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.